Hey guys, it's Sarah, and yes, my hair is wet, and yes, I'm makeup free. That's because I haven't really been feeling good today. I really wanted to make this video right away, so I just took a shower, and hopefully I'll feel better, but I'm trying. Well. I just finished amazing, an amazing, an amazing book, which is Dare You To by Katie McGarry. And oh my god, guys, this book blew my mind in a good way. Not in the same way as Darkest Minds, but very similar way, kind of, in a contemporary way. <laughs> it was just such a good book. I just loved it so, 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 so much. I'm going to do a review and discussion about it, and I went to do it right away because I just feel like all my emotions are still right there, and I just want to get them out. I finished this, like, not even two hours ago. I don't know. Oh my god. It took me two days to read it, which, ah, I don't know. There was a football game yesterday, so... I wasted time on that. I didn't waste time. It was, it was a good game. Go Broncos. Anyways, oh my god. Dare You by Katie McGarry. And I'm going to do the review portion first and then the discussion. And I wrote down quite a bit for the discussion. This video might be a little bit long and I apologize in advance, but there's just so much that goes on in this book that it needs to be discussed with you and me to discuss it. First off, the review. And I wrote down everything on my phone and I also wrote down like what I felt in certain moments in the book. So for like the discussion half, so if I'm looking at my phone constantly, which I already do when I make discussion videos, I am very sorry, but it's just, it's, there's, it's all there. Dare You Too. This book is about two people, Beth and Ryan. Beth is from Broken Home where her dad left her and, left her and her mom, and her mom is an alcoholic after her dad left, if that makes sense. Her mom has a revolving door of male suitors boyfriends. Beth doesn't really get along with the newest one that presents himself in this book, so she's staying with her aunt in the beginning of the book. She moved in with her aunt. And the aunt is the same woman who fosters Noah, if you've read P Pushing the Limits. It's the same woman that is his foster caretaker. Caretaker. Alright. So yeah, that's Beth. The, the book is dual point of view, and the other main character is Ryan, and he is also from, I wouldn't say a broken home, but a, a not perfect home. He is the all-American, I said football, but he's actually a baseball star, and he is looking to go pro right out of high school. Really, if you really, like, yeah, alright. Anyways, so this story is just about how Beth and Ryan are dealing with the lives that they've been handed, and what happens in their lives that forces them, I wouldn't say forces them together, but forces them in the same area, area, I don't want to give too much away, just about them, their relationships, and their relationship together, and how they deal with those things. How I felt about this book. I really, really, really enjoyed this book. I love how the story was built. I didn't feel like anything was rushed. I didn't feel like the relationships were rushed. And I felt like everything in this book happened for a reason. All the events that took place, there was no fluffy... I don't know, sometimes in contemporary books I'll find boring parts where I just kind of want to skip over them. And in this book, every single thing that happens is impactful and very important to the story. And I also love that Katie, she did this with Pushing the Limits too. She has such a great way of making something so horrible turn into something so beautiful. And I just love it so, so much. This, if I can say so one more time, I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads and I recommend you read it. Um, it's a companion novel to Pushing the Limits, so if you haven't read Pushing the Limits, you can still read this one, but there are some characters that come over. Because I haven't read Pushing the Limits in a while and I kind of, I didn't really forget, but I kind of, I don't know the details of it, so, um, and I was fine with it. So if you haven't read the book, then it's not too hard to keep up, but it helps with the background story, so. Anyways, 5 out of 5 stars, love, 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 loved it, and another plus, look at this. You've probably already seen this book, because I've seen multiple booktubers who have who've re bought this book recently, and the co the um, when you take the dust jacket off, the picture from the dust jacket is on the hardback, which is really cool, and I really, really enjoyed that. I also really enjoyed the pages of the book. I know this is weird. I... I don't want to get too in-depth about how the book was made, but the pages are very soft, and I don't know, it just was a really nice book to read. So I recommend you check it out. If you haven't read it, then 
please read it and come back and discuss with me because we need to talk about this book. It was amazing, it was crazy, and I loved every moment of it. So if you haven't read the book, please go read it, come back, and we can talk about it. Okay, this is the discussion part. So if you haven't read the book, I thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. And like I said, come back and discuss with me because we need to discuss this book. I, I've said it a million times because it's amazing. Alright, discussion time. I have the points on my phone. I went through certain emotions through the book as I was reading and I wrote them all down. So I'll put a page number or like a part part of the book where I was feeling these feelings so that way you kind of get an understanding of where I was at and why I feel it when I was reading it. Does that make sense? I kind of have the idea of doing like a book vlog and vlogging while I read instead of writing it down and then just like throwing all the clips together but we'll see. As the story progresses some of these feelings change throughout the book so that's why I wrote the page numbers down so that way the things that I felt at the time you'll know and I'll know so we'll see about the book vlog I don't know. I've tried to do that with a couple of other books and it didn't work out but who knows. Alright now let's just stop rambling. The first thing that I wrote down was that the beginning was heartbreaking. It just broke, it just broke my heart when she went down for her mom. I don't understand. I don't understand how a mother could allow her child to do that. It was just very heartbreaking to me and I just, I don't know, I wrote that down. Very heartbreaking beginning. That's exactly what I said. So that was the very first thought that popped into my head. Also, as the story progressed, a lot of the climaxes of the book or like the um, surprise moments, I kind of saw coming. And I don't think it takes away from the story anyway because I still thoroughly enjoyed the book. But I was kind of predictable. I kind of saw where the story was going. But it ended up being perfect so it's not a big deal. I did see that, I, I mean I did see a lot of things coming. For example, I saw that, I saw that Beth, I kind of predicted that Beth would have to move to the town that Ryan was living in because remember Ryan like he was in Louisville when we met Ryan and Beth together and he's from a smaller town so that kind of foreshadowed that I that she was going to move in with someone or move somewhere else and I didn't expect it to be her uncle just because we hadn't heard anything about her uncle I was kind of expecting it to be her dad like her dad was reformed or something but anyways long story short I kind of saw that coming I also said that I really 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 enjoyed Isaiah's character I really liked him I thought he was a strong kid I thought he was there for Beth and I thought he was just such a I don't know just some I, I'm just into those tortured souls so he, I kind of really liked him more than Ryan in the beginning but I didn't really think that him and Beth together were good so I wasn't like cheering him on for him to be like her boyfriend or anything but I did like him a lot and don't worry crash into you don't worry Sarah crash into you is about Isaiah so I'm really excited for that book anyways I also wrote down that this book makes me want to watch baseball and that is something that's usually not on my forecast. Forecast? Alright, we'll go with that. It's not a sport that I like to watch. I'm more of like a contact sport kind of girl, so I like football, like I said, go Broncos, and I like hockey, and I like um, lacrosse. I'm like the you gotta rough them and tough them kind of girl, so baseball's not really my sport, but this book the way she described baseball just made you capture the feelings of it. One thing I did notice in the book were the fonts for each chapter. Hold on, let me grab it. This book was dual point of view and the fonts for each chapter I think matched the characters. This is going to sound really weird and I totally overanalyze every single little detail an author puts into a book. I'm like one of those English type girls so you probably are like rolling your eyes at me but the fonts of each chapter um, my camera doesn't focus, but I don't know if you can see that. But anyways, this is Ryan's font, and then for Beth's font, it looks like this. Sarah, get your act together. Looks like this. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it, but if you can't see it, I'm sorry. But I think those fonts describe the characters very well. If that makes sense at all, it probably doesn't, but I felt like Ryan he was very uniform and had everything in his boxes and like knew what he was going to do in the future, and with Beth, her font type was a little more street and you know she's from the streets and I feel like, I don't know, I'm just rambling about this, but I really felt like the fonts matched the characters a lot. Maybe that's Katie's um, goal, because if it is, she achieved it very well, I think, in my point of view. Okay. Rambling about fonts. I don't know. This book reminds me, it's very similar to Perfect Chemistry 
to me just because of certain events that take place and I don't want to give anything away for Perfect Chemistry if you haven't read it, but it reminds me of that and it's not a bad thing because that's one of my favorite books ever, so I'm not complaining, I'm just saying that there are some similarities. Not complete similarities, but there are some. This is where I get into the pages. About a hundred pages into the book, I mean I was getting really annoyed with Beth's I hate the world attitude. And it's hard for me to justify why I said that because at the time I didn't know what I know now and so I don't stand by that at all. Just if you're feeling annoyed or if you felt annoyed please agree with me but then you figure out why and that's what I wrote down. I said hopefully she has a good reason and I think she automatically hands down does have a good reason for acting the way she did. It just kind of annoyed me because I don't know why it annoyed me, but for some reason I just felt like everything would be perfectly fine if she just opened up a little bit. And I know that's not realistic and I think that the story went perfectly well, but that is just my opinion at 100 pages in. Not now, not anymore, just at 100 pages in. <laughs> also, I at a page like 106, I was really frustrated with how she triggered her mom. How she treats her mom. I was still frustrated at the end of the book. <sighs> This is a hard one for me to explain because I understand why she kind of did what she did, like why she loved her mom so much, but it still frustrated me and <laughs> it frustrated me the whole time I was going to say until, but it frustrated me the whole, throughout the whole book. I understand that she was codependent on her mom. I think that is a very important thing that needs to be addressed because some, that's very, I think that's um, something that happens to a lot more people than what you think. And I'm not just saying that she's dependent, she's like codependent. Where she feels like she has to care for her mom to live life, basically. And this was shown multiple times throughout the book where she, when she couldn't help her mom, she would feel hollow or numb and she felt like she wasn't doing the right thing, she wasn't following through her responsibilities. And that's very strong codependency. And I think, I mean, I understand why she did those things. That doesn't mean it doesn't frustrate me because I could see clearly who her mom was or like what her mom was doing to her but I think that when you're blinded with love or when you love somebody and you take care of them your whole entire life you know no different and I think that's um, something very important. I think it was addressed very well in the book and I really, I don't know, I just really enjoyed it. I mean it doesn't mean I wasn't frustrated because I was at some points but I still felt like she, Katie did a really great job at making it tolerable. Does that make sense? I think that's what I'm going with. Tolerable. Alright. I don't know. Whatever. Favorite chapter time. My favorite chapter, what I wrote down, is the chapter, it's Beth's chapter, and it was page, it started on page 156 and it went through 162. The chapters aren't numbered, so that's the clearest I can give you, but this chapter I felt like described so much of Beth and why she did the things that she did. It was so raw and there's so much emotion and with Scott, it was just, that's when I felt like Scott was doing the right thing was when this chapter, he was there for a reason and he was going to protect her and help her and I just really, 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 really love this chapter. I felt like it explained so much about Beth and I feel like we felt so much from Beth. I also love that Isaiah was there for her when she needed him, like she called him right after she had the breakdown and that is something that I think she didn't do or wouldn't have done throughout the whole book unless the events that took place, like her moving, you know, she wouldn't have done that if I don't know. Oh my god. I don't know how to explain it. I just love that chapter. It was raw and it was emotional and it was just perfect. That was my favorite chapter. That was the one that like pulled my heart out. <laughs> just like, ugh, and then stomped on it and then didn't put it back for a little while. But not safely intact. Kind of taped up, but we're not going to go there. I also said that this book has so much raw emotion and I completely stand by it when I wrote down. The things that the characters go through are so raw and so real and I feel like those things could happen to anybody and I feel like those things do happen to people. I don't know, I just felt like it was just so perfectly done. I don't, I don't know, I'm gonna say that a lot, but I just felt like it was so perfectly done and everything about the book, I felt like it was just, <clears throat> just, <clears throat> that's something I can describe it. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, I don't plan on putting it there. I said, I also said this is my favorite type of book, which is true. I love the books that have just such heartbreaking emotions and just heartbreaking things happen to the characters and then have just the most amazing, heartfelt moments in the book where it's just all worth it. Feels like it's worth it. Like their whole lives are worth it. I don't know, I just really enjoyed it. I enjoyed this book a lot, if you can't tell. Okay, we're almost done. I wrote down, I wrote down, I didn't write any of this, I keep saying I wrote down, but we're just gonna go with it, that I said that I think I liked Beth's chapters a little bit more than Ryan's chapters, but not by much. And I, I don't know, that was true until a little way half, a little bit halfway past, then I started liking Ryan's chapters more. Or the same, I like them both. I liked both chapters. It would be, they would both have great stories that you'd want to read and then when you bring them together it just makes it that much more better. It's like having a great story on steroids. <laughs> That's how I'm trying to explain this. I love Scott. I don't know if I said that or not but I really liked him. I liked his character. I liked that he opened up to Beth and Beth opened up to him. Alright guys, so my memory ran out on my camera so I had to import the video and come back and finish. So, I don't know. I liked that she confided in Scott. I love Scott and I was so glad that he was there for her and it kind of made me mad that he didn't help her out with her mom because I don't know. I mean that's all the girl wants is for her mom to be safe so I felt like he could have helped her but I understand why he didn't but I feel like he could have. I think we're done. I think we're done. I think the ending was amazing and I loved the book and it was just one of those I'm definitely going to have kicking around my head for the next couple of days. It's just such a good book. I I just hope that you check it out. Hope that you check it out. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Tell me if you agree or disagree or if you like or dislike the book. I gave it 5 out of 5 on Goodreads and I really, really enjoyed it. My TBR will be up the day after I post this. I have a couple of videos on Backlog so you won't see this for a while but um, Backlog. I talk like I'm a professional. I'm not really a professional video maker. I just filmed a lot of videos. A couple of videos that I already pre-filmed, so my TBR will be up in the next couple of days right after this. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a great day. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I enjoyed talking about this book. It was just such a great book. If you have anything else, just comment down below. I don't know. All my social media sites are in the down bar. Down bar? I don't know why I just said that. All my media sites are in the description. I'll link this uh, book in the description as long as, long as, as I can't talk today. I'll link this book in the description and I'll also link Katie's website so we can stay up on information. And yeah, I think that's it. So have a great day and thank you for watching. Ollie, you're messing with my outro. Quit. Hey. Puppies. Alright, bye guys.